guys welcome back to the channel zora of increase my name is nate for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video and i'm the founder and ceo of zora of increase ministries that is doi ministries and here on this channel i help you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with god in christ through bible studies book reviews discussions and more and i do that by hosting twice a week every wednesday and saturday and occasionally on tuesdays so if you have not done so already don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the bell to stay notified of when i post a new video to like this video and to share this video on your social media platforms with a family member and or with a friend and hey guys hey it's been a minute <laughs> it's been a minute and let me just say i have a lot of videos on my phone that need to be edited but yeah so I had that book haul that I recorded back on August 27th. That should have been posted already. So click the to go watch that. I have a video coming out on this baby here. My top to ten reference um, Bible, the handy size. I have that coming soon. Um, I also have a vlog. So I did a two week vlog, literally sharing the first two weeks of school. It's not aesthetic at all. So just want to let y'all know. I have the footage. It's on my computer. I have to edit it on my computer because it is going to be a very long video. I, I just got edited um school has been crazy okay yeah I, I share snippets here and there i've been sharing with you guys my textbook which i love this textbook the most like this is the essence of the old testament a survey by ed hinton and um gary yates this one is bomb.com i'm loving it we have the other one um by bartholomew and goheen um drama of scripture i haven't really been reading that one don't judge me but i'm gonna need to read that <laughs> but um school has been amazing i have been stressing i have been crying my eyes out almost every night i have been just overwhelmed but i have been maintaining my a minus um i literally go from like a 92 to like a 96 all the time depending on assignments and stuff in my test most of the test is only eight questions on the test like they're multiple choice questions but my professor is the type of professor that you know he read the textbook and so because you know he read the textbook he starts asking questions um like and there'll be literally lines from the textbook but those are lines that you kind of like bypass or breeze over so it's just like all right sir all right this is what we doing but um i typically either get 100 or it would be a 90 but because it's seven out of eight it goes to like 87.5 and so tests have been good my papers oh my god my last two papers i've gotten 90s on my recent worksheet assignment i got a 92 and a half on the one paper i got a 99 out of 100 i was like why he just couldn't give me 100 but whatever <laughs> um yeah school has been great I, I love my class i love my my classmates the discussions we have are great um last week we talked about genocide i think i got an 18 out of 20 on that discussion post um because i was missing a few things and had grammatical errors and my professor is very big on grammatical errors and if things ain't in mla format he takes off points because um moody is specifically mla format um what else I think that's it for school um like i said i have this specific class i think until the 16th and then i have a week break before i start my next class which is new testament and then for the spring i'm only going to be taking one course but i'm going to take that course for the full four months um instead of the, the eight weeks because the eight weeks it gets a little hectic and so the next class i'll be taking after new testament survey for the spring will be um studying and teaching the bible i'm excited for that class and for that class i had to take the old testament and new testament survey so it works out well for me i'm super super excited right now i'm actually preparing to do my discussion post because i meant to do it yesterday didn't do it yesterday so it's due by 12 59 a.m so i'm working on that now um and this is actually on esther and um the exiles and if they were disobeying god's providence and things like that um and i love the discussion questions because they're typically like your personal opinions but you also have to back your personal opinions up with scripture and other sources um that are like sound doctrine and things like that so it's been really really great and sometimes i'll be reading people's answers and i'll be like oh that's not right da, da, da. but you know i've been enjoying it to say the least um but yeah just want to come on and give you guys an update i'm here she's here she's alive and well have i read a book not at all i have not read anything outside of my textbooks i'm not even reading my bible i thought people were joking when they said that once you become a theology student or going to seminary that you really lose your time like your personal time because you're so bogged down with studying the word for school that ain't a lie that like when people tell me oh theology it's just you reading the bible no it ain't baby mm -mm. not at all because it's a whole lot it's a whole lot it's a whole lot and i love it 
I'm grateful for the experience. I'm loving my time. And I'm even more excited to be like a full blown full time student at Moody. But baby, mm -mm, theology is no game. Like, yeah, it's about the word of God, but you also have to really dive deep into scripture. Like, dive deep. Like, that topic on genocide was definitely a touchy one because, you know, some people felt some type of way with the whole genocide. And when I say genocide, um, we were focusing on the scripture with Joshua. Um, I think it was Joshua eleven twenty and Deuteronomy seven something. The scripture on the screen I can't remember right now, but um, the scripture where God was telling Joshua and the Hebrews or Israelites rather to basically um, utterly destroy the Canaanites. And you know the question was posed, you know, is genocide okay? What should we think about that scripture? Um, what does it prove about God? You know, asking about the children and the women, and it was definitely a touchy subject. You could tell from a lot of people's discussion questions, but I know for me I was asked. Um, from one of my classmates if I ever wondered why God would kill kids and um I thought about that and for me I never once questioned God's authority like even as a kid I never questioned it like I was always curious about the Bible for me going to church during Sunday school like I was always prepared never owned a Bible never cared to build a relationship outside of church but I loved the word of God and so I knew that God was sovereign I knew that his his word was his word like whatever he said it, it is so he doesn't have to explain right so I never once questioned why he did it because i knew there was a purpose in it now did it make me sad and cry of course there are lots of things like rapes and murders that make me sad and cry but i also know that there's purpose in all that guys like that all that he did and so even as an adult now i don't typically question it because i know he's sovereign in it all his ways and his purpose and all that he does right and so um you know the class is just is really interesting i love it so school is going great like i said i'm maintaining my a minus right now at a 92 um we, we, we just gonna come out here i'm trying to i'm trying to bump it up to like a 95 96 but every time i go to 96 it comes right back down <laughs> because of how they grade things and so yeah i'm behind on my bible readings if you guys saw um i think week three week two is where i like slipped off week two i slipped off because we were supposed to read exodus leviticus numbers and deuteronomy and i think job and i was like yeah, no nah, nah. no it was week week two yeah because we had leviticus numbers deuteronomy and joe and i got through leviticus and i was bored and i just never went back to finish numbers and so now i'm 15 books behind about three weeks behind on my bible reading um and i took at first i was like oh yeah we just gotta read the bible we just read the bible no the bible actually correlates to the project that we have coming up and we actually started the project this week um he he gave us an assignment that kind of kind of puts us ahead of the project for week six and week seven and so yeah i didn't know it was that serious so i'm 15 books behind and if i don't read these 15 books by monday i'm i'm, I'm gonna be mad books behind and so the audio bible is about to be my new best friend i'm, I'm pretty much gotta read like five bible five books in a bible a day which is help me but um other than that school is great i'm i'm really really loving my experience loving all the things that i'm learning and you guys see snippets here and there on my instagram follow me on instagram if you really want to stay up to date on my life because that's i've been posting there um oh let me show you guys i so i've been wanting to buy me some flowers and i bought some flowers and look at my arrangement i made it myself like this one over here this the baby, baby breath is pissing me off so i think i want to like stick it on the top somewhere but yeah i bought some yellow roses some pink roses and white roses and then i bought blue and pink hydrangeas and baby breath and um i think they were like five dollars each um and i got this gorgeous like iridescent lavender base with butterflies it's so cute and i just have it on my desk like i want it it for my first week of school but definitely never got a chance to do it and now i was able to do it and so i have it there um but yeah so that's that so we talked about school i'm gonna talk about <laughs> i don't even want to talk about it right now because things <laughs> um okay so i'm, I'm gonna give y'all like a little snippet a little snippet because i know people have been asking me and like commenting on my instagram who's seen it if you didn't see it then sorry you'll know when the time comes but um i'm not do i want to say that i'm dating i am talking to someone and it's been really nice um how things have been going and i'm sorry like i'm blushing and i'm smiling because it's been amazing and sorry if you guys hear that i don't know what they're doing outside 
but um i have been talking to someone and then that video that i just posted yesterday um i had mentioned how i wasn't dating or anything like that but there was somebody that i was interested in right yeah well me and that person definitely have been getting to know each other and things have been progressing really really nicely and it is it's been amazing if you guys saw my instagram post when i went out on a date with him then yeah you know i went out on a date and it was the best experience of my life um i have never been on an actual date like an actual real date i've hung out with people but i've never been taken on a date and so that was definitely an experience for me at the age of 32 to actually have experienced a real date um and i enjoyed myself a lot like a lot i really did enjoy myself and he also had a great time and we definitely plan on going on more dates and you know things are things are nice they're nice um they're nice and the way we met was kind of funny <laughs> we met through mutual friends um my bro and sister from church um and so yeah we're definitely a lot alike which is funny and crazy we have a lot of the same thoughts feelings and things like that and so yeah it's it's been nice i don't want to talk further on it right now and so like i said um once I hit the three month mark, you'll meet him. Um, <laughs> when things do become official, I will obviously post a picture of him on Instagram. I won't come on YouTube to tell you guys, but I will post a picture of him. But yeah, it's <laughs> it's been nice. And I think the, the nice thing for me is that my son is okay with it. Um, I have been praying the entire time of me getting to know this person and god has definitely been showing up and i probably will give more information once like i said things are official um which they are headed in that direction but i also don't want to talk too much on it but just know your girl is yeah i'm i'm dating i guess i don't, I don't know it's it's amazing to see god move that's all i can say about that um it's amazing and i'm definitely saying that because like i said i'm praying every step of the way through and the fact that my son approved like my son literally says on the phone while i'm talking to uh the young man um he says that he approves and for me that's that was like a big fear for me is finding somebody that's okay with me being a single mom finding you know someone that my son would be okay with and god has showed up showed up in both ways and it's odd um and everyone around me and the guy um they're excited for both of us i'm i'm excited but i i will be honest i am scared still obviously because of what i went through in my last relationship and so you know i don't have walls up but i'm definitely guarded and i'm definitely praying every step of the way through but things are nice things are really nice and they are progressing very good um so yeah i'm i'm happy I'm happy and a lot of my friends and family members noticed that I'm smiling and I I don't think I think I mentioned it here on Instagram when that whole situation happened with my ex that I don't recall the last time I smiled and I'm I'm smiling you guys like full on big smiles and so yeah it's nice it's nice so I'm gonna just leave it at that for now I'm gonna leave it at that for now but um I'll be dating soon soon um, we're taking our time, we're getting to know each other, and it's really, really nice. But yeah, that's that. And so, <laughs> moving on. So, on to the situation with my son. Many of you keep asking about that situation, and, I don't, you know, I don't have a problem telling you guys. Um, I didn't want to come on the channel yet to discuss it in full until paperwork is done, until things are solidified, because I don't want to say things on here, and then the video might be watched, and then things might be brought up. But um, things have changed slightly drastically. Um, which it took me a while to get used to um, it's definitely an adjustment for my son to get used to but I will say um, I'm getting more time for me right um, and my son is able to see things a lot more clearer I've been having a lot more conversations with my son and um, you know yeah like today is Friday I had him last night I have him tonight I have him till Monday um, and so you know right now i have my son thursday to monday so i get him thursdays after school um so he gets out at three o'clock and then i keep him till monday mornings i drop him off and then he goes back to his father um but 
you know, it's like I said, an adjustment for all three of us to get used to. Um, but I will say I've been enjoying it because I was able to take like a, a two day trip to a hotel overnight just to study and do schoolwork. And it was amazing to not have to worry about anything as far as like, you know, mommy duties and stuff like that. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just leave it at that for now until things, like I said, are solidified come, you know, court. Um, I think we go back on the 29th. So in another week and a half, we go back to solidify everything. But um, it, definitely a lot of changes in life for me <laughs> um, with, you know, being a mom and a new relationship blooming and things like that in school. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys quickly because I've, I've been in my, I've been in my, and I miss making my videos and stuff like that. But um, I got videos coming. I have videos on my computer that need to be edited. But yeah, um, life is amazing right now. It's it's actually really really good and staying in the word and seeing God really come through in specific ways has been scary. It has been scary to say the least. Really scary to say the least. But I've also been grateful for it. Um, and I think another thing with the young man that I'm talking to, um, or the guy that I'm talking to rather, saying young man, but obviously, but he knows, like he he goes to church. Um, he knows God. He knows God rather, and it's just I don't know. It's nice. <laughs> It's nice, and I and I, I always tell people it's nice because I don't want to. I don't want to say catch feelings, if that's the word. But I'm, you know, I'm not cautious, but I'm being careful if you catch my drift because I don't have the capacity to be hurt again, right? Um, and so that's why I literally pray over everything, and God definitely be showing up like every little detail that I pray about it happens, and it's funny um, that you know God definitely is, you know, He's God. And, you know, when things progress with me and this guy, I definitely will have him meet my family. I have him definitely meet my bishop and my pastor because those are like my second parents. Um, but I will say that my son definitely okayed it. <laughs> like, my son has literally said over the phone that he, he approves. And for me, that was a big deal because, again, I never want to be with someone that my son doesn't approve of, right? And so everyone is excited and happy for us. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to get back to my regular scheduling next week. Um, so Wednesday's video will be a flip through of the Psalm Teaching Reference Bible. And Saturday, we're going to figure it out. Saturday, I'm going to try to get that blog up. That two-week blog that I got. I'm going to try to get that up. But, um. Yeah, I'll be sharing with you guys what's in my scuba bag and stuff like that because my bag is here. The bag is so cute and I love this bag. So, Dawn, thank you so much for this book bag because this book bag has been coming in clutch in the rain, everything. And it's you could pack it with so much stuff. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now. I don't have any other updates. I talked about school. I talked about uh, the new budding romance in my life. And then I talked about the history of my son. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. I don't have anything else to talk about nothing else to talk about so I'm gonna go finish this discussion post because I need to get it up because it's due in a couple hours so we're gonna do that then I gotta start reading my bible because I'm behind on reading my bible and originally I was reading in the King James version but then I realized that's dumb because the bible that I have for school is in the ESV and so I'm gonna eventually go back to the King James and transfer my notes from the app into my bible but I'm going to start reading from um, Numbers. Because I read Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus already in the King James. And don't feel like switching my notes over yet. So I'm going to start with Numbers. I think I was up to Numbers chapter 6. But I'm just going to start from the beginning of Numbers and read from Numbers to Job today. Um, I will probably throw in Joshua as well. Um, and read through those. And as I'm reading, I take notes. I, I, mean, I highlight. And I'm also going to be using this textbook. Because the textbook has so much good stuff. Like what the tea that this textbook is giving it's giving it's giving everything so that's it i'm gonna go get this assignment done because it's like i said it's due soon so yeah i'm gonna go
and i hope you guys are all great thank you guys for commenting for subscribing for hitting me up on instagram i love it that you guys all interacting with me on instagram and i thank you guys for your prayers you guys know i, I keep y'all up to date with what's going on with school as far as my grades and stuff like that and how i'm feeling like i think one of the posts i put how i was like ready to just give up because it was an assignment that we had to do and i think that assignment is the one that i got for 92 and a half on <laughs> only because I didn't put all the scriptures that I needed to put. That was the only issue that my professor had was that I had references missing and my professor does not play. Like your references better be there, your scriptures better be there, you better have citations in MLA format. He don't play about grammatical errors. <laughs> so by the time I leave Moody, I will have learned to write a perfect paper at this point. But that's it, I'm gonna go. And I'll chat with you all later. I hope this update was helpful for you all. And yeah, I'll have more of an update soon as far as my relationship and then as far as um, my son. Those will come in like separate videos. Because like I said, at three months, I will do a video with him maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm, I don't know if I want to show his face or not on camera. Don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But the situation with my son, I definitely will give you guys an update in October about that for sure. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to go and I'll chat with you all in the next video. Bye.